good morning. Just about to go and have some breakfast, then we're gonna get everything packed up, and then we are off. <laughs> and we're off on the West Highland Way. <laughs> we're about a mile in, and coats are off already. Watch this for uh, power. Oh, he up he goes. <laughs> and proceed. You've got to love a little river. Sun. Rain. What's up, Craig? <laughs> Craig's feeling a little bit heavy at the moment. Just over four, yeah. About four miles in. Eight to Drummond. What? Just come through a gate. Look at this. That is beautiful. That is stunning. River coming up. We are following a long path. <laughs> Look at all the stuff in the in the uh, in the box. Oh, oh wow! wow. Oh, so sad that I don't need anything. <laughs> we have everything. We literally have everything. I'm not carrying anymore. We're gonna head to. Drummond, stop for a uh, gin and tonic because it would be rude not to. Hey, it's on, had a shower. Oh, there's Craig. Up right there, somewhere. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. That one over there looks like it's been pretty tight. Yeah, he does. Pushing on to the Clacken for a pint. Actually, I think I have said this. I'm just talking to myself. Uh, So we have our little wild camping spot for the night. Tent set up for the first time. It's pretty sheltered. Morning. It is day two. Time for a morning coffee. Chef de la what? <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast this morning is Weedabix. There are a few little bug, bu bugs, bugs. Turn one off. Apart from having a really sore butt, we are heading for Conic Hill. Chronic? Chronic Hill. Chronic Hill, baby. Well, you got a nice bum already. <laughs> oh God, I'm may fall. Around the corner and there's a the sheep. Oh, he's off. <laughs> Craig mountaineering. <laughs> Insanely beautiful. Clouds. Down is so much worse, I'd rather go up. Peanut butter bar and sort of really good crisps. Oh, That's sea, sea salt and some really salty crisps. Nice. Craig trying to get through the uh, gate. <laughs> oh, he can do it. <laughs> well, this is different from being on the mountain. I'm going to have to put my phone away because all that's going to fall over, but what a lovely forest. Hey Craig! Hey Mills! Are you loving life? <laughs> uh, ish. We are now on the side of Loch Lomond. We're just looking for somewhere to stop to have a bit of lunch. Because it is blowy! That is wild. And I'm going to show you the, li the little beach. <laughs> Come and have a look at our little lunch spot. Just a what? Trail signs tell us that we're still on track. Oh, I see it there. Yep. And we're heading to some lucky campsites. But we think we might go further. We're gonna see when we're there. Because it's been a tough old day. Oh, Tyrell's dog biscuits. Ah, oh, water. Oh, use QR code. So we are very happy because we've just passed a sign saying that we can camp in about a mile and a quarter because uh, it's day two. We've way passed. <gasps> sorry. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just literally like stabbed him. <laughs> Yay, we're leaving the camping management zone. Craig is going down to the waterfall. 
to get some boat fall. Woo! What? What? <laughs> Good morning, it's day three. We managed to find this little camp spot last night. It's right by the trail, but hey. And how did you sleep, Craig? Uh, ish. ish. I was a little bit uncomfortable. Shoulders ache, hips ache, back of my butt aches, <laughs> the waist pad. But yeah, otherwise, not bad. Uh, alive and well. My hips are actually bruised and I've got raised uh swellings from the size of my pack awkward we adapt and conquer no we adapt, adapt and overcome. overcome and conquer on the west island way this is what packing up the tent looks like i do have trousers on really shorts actually it is 7 55 and we are about to break camp we're all tidied up and then we are off on the low road we think. You go. Oh. Okay. Oh, great. A step. Oh my God, how big a step? <laughs> oh. oh my God. I'm gonna put the camera away, otherwise I'm gonna fall. Bridge. Break, can't even see. Oh, down there. Nice. Ah, oh, beautiful. Something like you come, there's just a little pretty thing. Going all the way into the lock. Okay. Pretty windy. Oh, wait. It's pretty crazy around this low road. This is one of the easy bits. Hole. Can't get more lock side than this, guys. We've had quite a lot of water to deal with as well. This is easy. We just saw some dodgy looking dudes well, on a beach with two massive dogs that came tearing towards me. Uh, yeah. Day three, it's lunchtime. We found a, found a nice little sunny place to stop. Craig is getting water in the lock. Lovely. Ooh. Lunch today is smashed with broken up cheese for Emma. Fuck this one. A bit more, yep. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't been able to video much of this uh, section. Had to have two poles to stop ourselves falling over. But this is a nice bit. So, just to give you an idea of where we are. It's also very wet, as you can see. Did someone say the Highlands? How are you enjoying the trail today, Craig? Oh, I'm loving the trail. Current situation, mountain, path. This is how it's been. I can't even video for too long because I will actually fall because I need my poles, but this is literally how it's been. The whole way, lock side today. And this is probably not even as treacherous or as sketchy as uh, mm -hmm. other parts. But I can't even get up this bit with two hands without two hands. Boom. 
Oh, that's brutal. Little rest stop in front of the waterfall. Look how red I am. <laughs> what the hell? We are finally off the rocks. The rocks and in this kind of nice big open space, which is cool. We are done in for today. My knee has started to hurt, so hopefully there's no more rocks. We've just come out off the shores of the lock to these mountains. Not so much that side. We're uh, aiming for Bengalas, so we're not sure where the camping zone ends. on the trail uphill. Just love one of those. Yeah, Heading up there, but we're finally at the end of the lock. Oh. This is, uh, oh. I think we are officially in the Highlands, right? I mean, that's high lands, right? They're high in their lands. We're just leaving Bengalas campsite, which is awesome if you're heading past that way. Um, got a little bar where they do dinners, breakfasts, the alcohol, obviously always good. Little resupply shop with everything you can imagine in. Great little pictures, highly recommended. Um, and you, Craig? Yeah, beautiful place. Such a good place. Pretty clean. Yep, toilet, showers. Food's nice. Yep. Um, and now we're heading back to where we went yesterday <laughs> for about a mile, maybe a bit more, and then on to new things. Uh, heading for Time Drum. Time Drum. And we're off. Probably really wobbly. Ready. The benefits of being short. Woo! Oh, am I under? Yep. Use your poles to support you. Too long. <laughs> That's it. Keep going. Down a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Man, they're brutal, aren't they? Yep. Oh. <laughs> this is where we've come from. Look at this amazing view. <laughs> And this is where we're going to. Came over a little hill before we head into the forest, found a little bench. That sun is lush. Just come up the mountain path and into this kind of wooded area. We've got an open meadow up here. They're just incredible. <clears throat> Absolutely incredible. You just can't stop looking, right? <laughs> Why were you so slow to Day four, and we're in the highlands. Best day yet. Oh, definitely the best day yet. Sun shining, birds are singing, and some of the best scenery we've seen yet. Literally the best, and it keeps getting better. <laughs> I don't know how it could get any better. Same. It just can't get any better, surely. Literally can't get any better. It could be fucking easy. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not COVID. We've just come out of the forest, and we're back in the hills. Where's Greg? There he is. We are in a forest uh, area where they've been cutting down all the forest. Pretty weird. That's the mountain we've literally been at the top of. And we're going to Tyndrum. 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 Which is somewhere maybe down there. Not really, not really sure. Down, 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 down. Oh Jesus. Look at this. That's cool. We're looking for the diabetic ponies. That is a big river. It's a big river. We've got a car coming as well.
Hey. Yeah. Oh, Look how big Home for the night, and who has stolen the beds? Oh, Greg. A little bit messy my side, and I'm sat in my sleeping bag because it's multi-use. So it's Sunday, we think, day five on trail, and we are just leaving, uh, by the way, campsite, which was very nice, had everything you needed. Didn't really video a lot last night because we were pretty tired and had some aches and pains to deal with, but we've adjusted our food, got rid of what we don't need because we did have too much and we're not really eating as much as we thought. And so we're gonna plod on today. We're aiming for Bridge of Orkey yes. to start with, and then we'll see um, what's going on. This morning we're following this river up back into the mountains. This is where we've come from. Where we're going to Hello Big Fuck Off Mountains. <laughs> it's like a sheep crossing. Oh. Craig, don't do it! Don't jump! <laughs> Craig's knees shot to put. So I'm now hiking solo. Craig has come off trail. Due to a knee injury, I can't not try and finish. I've only got two days left, two and a half. So I'm gonna carry on. I've booked some glamping pods, like things, cabins. For the next two nights I don't actually have to camp. We've got 10 miles ahead of us. It's one o'clock, it's gonna be quite a long one. We're gonna push on, we're gonna do it. Look at that. Come out of the, just come out of the tree line. Look at that. Amazing. These views, I can't stop videoing. That is absolutely breathtaking. Yep, another video. That mountain still has snow on the top. Eee. So we're following a military road or a forestry road. We've just come out of a forest area. And this is the view. There are not many hikers around. I've passed some people going the opposite way. I think I can see some people ahead coming this way. And there's one girl behind me that's heading in my direction, but whether I'm not sure, heel, she'll be going as far as Glencoe. Who knows? Pretty high up now. Glencoe obviously is high because it's a ski resort. This is just totally worth it. Even though I'm sad that Craig can't be here. I also smell really bad. But we'll not worry about that too much. Okay, on what I go. Sorry, more videos. Look at this. I've seen a couple of people in front of me and I've actually overtaken five people, so. It's good to know other hikers are around. Still epic. I think there's a bit of rain coming in, so I might have to stop and waterproof up soon. It's 3.30. I'm not sure how much further I've got to go. I think it's about three miles. So I've smashed out seven in two and a half hours. I'm not really sure how. My God, this view is so cool. We're heading up over there, over that pass. I can't wait to see what's on the other side. I'm pretty much at the top of the pass. Look at that. Let's see what's over this side. There we go. The weather's coming in. Good job I waterproofed up. Good morning. It's 5.15 on day six. I stayed at Glencoe Ski Resort last night, which is what's behind me in a little habit hut, which was very nice. Although I don't want to stay another night on trail. I just couldn't sleep, I had about two hours, which is not ideal. So I'm gonna try and smash out 26 miles today, which is slightly daunting. 
think I can do it. I hope I can do it. We're gonna aim for Kinlock even initially, which is the first massive up and massive down. It's the down that's worrying me, uh, since it's just a bit hard on your knees. Um, so we will see how we get on. I'm hoping to get there early morning so that I can kind of hit the trail with the hikers that have been staying there for the last day. Uh, I don't really want to be hiking on my own. Well, I don't mind hiking on my own, but it's nice to know people are behind you. It's such a nice morning. Let's hope the rain stays off, although looking at it, I'm not sure it's going to. Uh, but we'll keep you posted. We are now leaving civilization and heading back in to the mountains. I think we're on our way to Devil's Staircase. I haven't videoed much because it's been pouring with rain for about an hour and I'm not sure how many miles. But we'll keep you posted. You can tell we're in big boy territory. Jeez, the size of these mountains. I just wish there were no clouds so you could see down the valley. Look at that beast. Ooh, still got a bit of snow on. Ooh. Okay, first look of the day. Must concentrate. I'm just at the top of Devil's Staircase and I can confirm it is a little bit of a devil. I think it's also time for a little snack. A lot of water up here. Eee, Jesus. Let's hope the descent is not too, too steep. I see the path actually traversing around the other side. Didn't look leaving. Here we come, about five miles to go. I love just being able to see where the path's going. So you traverse around the side of that mountain. That's where <clears throat> I've come from. Over the top of that pass. Look, a lock and more massive mountains. It's 7.30. We're on the go about two, two and a half hours, about five or six miles in. Just before I head into a little bit of trees, that's not too bad so far. Just, um, I can see the little town of Kinloch leaving, uh, about seven miles in, which means 19 to go. So Kinloch leaving, I believe, is down there. Oh, I don't know if you'll see it. Maybe just through a few of the houses. No, it's down there basically. Oh, it's much nicer. Rain's gone, coat's off. This down is bloody tough on your legs. But thankfully, it's not really steppy, it's just a nice, good path to walk on. It could be much, much worse. Still heading into Cannot Leaven. Cannot Leaven. I'm not sure I agreed to it going up again today. Out of Kinloch Leaven. Because there's been a big up. You can see the town down there. Eww. My little legs. 12 miles in. It's like half nine, 10 o'clock. Uh, we need to push on. Well, today's views, <clears throat> that is day six, are definitely awesome. I'm pleased to see the trail. It doesn't go up anymore. My little legs struggled, but <clears throat> obviously I know we will be going up and down some more. <clears throat> but a little rest is always welcome. I kind of don't feel I'm uh, videoing or taking photos enough today. I'm just conscious that I've got 26 miles and I want to crack them out. Just down here I can see that little uh, that ruin of that old little house that Craig was really keen to see. So I'm going to make sure I get a shot of that as I go past. And it is indeed on the right. I thought it was on the left. Off we go, 11 miles to go. New mountains. And down there, I don't know if you can see, if I zoom. Oh, my goose. Just plod along from this godforsaken stony road. New views. I also think as I was rounding the corner back there that I saw the peak of Ben Nevis. I don't know if it was it. I think it was because it was massive. Um, so I'm really, really excited about seeing Ben Nevis. I've also got about nine miles to go, I think. I'm videoing because I do not know what's going to be around this corner, but I do know I'm about six miles 
from Fort William. And I'm hoping as we come around this corner, it's gonna be epic view. In front of us is the monster that is a Nevis. I can see the trails going up to the top. Fuck that. <laughs> Monstrous. Oh, William in sight. 